Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play Black Desert Online. This is a brand new MMO that just came out. In fact, it has a free seven day trial period at the moment if you guys want to give it a shot. Remember though that it is a rather large game, over 40 gigs to download, but it is really, really cool from what I've seen. Graphics are very high end, so if you don't have a state of the art computer, uh, you do have the option to go in there and uh, change the settings and lower down all of that. Now, I set mine up to the highest it can possibly be everything is up uh, to its max on there target uh, FPS I did set that to 60 and I guess it brought it back down so uh, that is not what I want so let's go ahead and hit confirm let's go back in there frames per second okay so it saved it this time but yeah everything else is set up as high as I possibly could get it I did mess with the audio again I do apologize if you know some of the audio is a little bit off but without any further ado guys we're gonna hit this start button and we're gonna get into this game now uh, a name shared among the characters it is always displayed to other players so we got a little family name going on that's kind of a unique thing I haven't really seen in any other MMO uh, let's see a family name cannot be changed think carefully before entering a family name first letter must be in upper cases uh, alphabetical numbers and underscores are not allowed so um, hmm a family name let's go with AC uh, can we do caps on all the stuff uh, AC gamer yeah maybe let's let's see how it works confirm is your family name going to be AC gamer yes please give me my name there we go okay so we are in now you can see there are a number of servers to pick from I don't know what any of the differences are in any of them. They don't give you any information by clicking on them, letting you know that this is a, a low populated server. This is an American server. Oh, there we go. Now it's kind of popping up. So crowded means extra experience, maybe? I mean, um, not completely 100% sure. It's, it's not really saying that. Um, in a world or Olivia. I'm going to go with uh, Olivia because I could just kind of like that one. It's crowded though. Now we're processing it. Narrow we're in character creation. Finally. Okay, let's check out our characters. Do you want to create a character? Yes, please. So, now we're in our classes. Yeah. We're going to go over each and every single one of these guys. Can I turn this guy around? Nice. That is cool looking. Look at this dude. He is a warrior. Let's read the description on all of these guys. Human warriors are skilled fighters with balanced abilities in both attack and defense, using swords and shields as their main weapons. They are the best weapon wielders among all races. While in battle, warriors will show off their intrepid with storm-like barrage of melee combat actions. And you can see a little video of it right there on the bottom right-hand corner of some of the actions that they're going to be performing. Now, this is a very fast-paced game from what I can tell. And you can see right here, attack, control, defense, very much on defense, very much on the combos. Evasion, not so much. But then as a warrior, you're meant to take those hits. Let's look at Ranger. <laughs> Ranger is almost the exact opposite. Low on defense, low on combo, and incredibly high on evasion. Uh, Elven Rangers are the specialist of ranged archery attacks. Under the grace of the Sifis, Rangers present swift movements in any situation of battle. Most of their skills are based on preventing enemies' attempts of melee approach. The Sifidus mystic power is the source of their ability. So they got a little bit of story back on them. Can we can we turn them around? It just uh, no, it won't let me it won't let me turn them around, huh? Let's look at Sorcerer. Sorcerer sounds kind of cool. Sorcerers can effectively control the battlefield with their melee and ranged dark magics. They lure enemies with ranged magics, then lead the drawn victims into chaos and painful demise. Other races refer and fear, or re yeah, refer and fear the sorcerer as the witches on the battlefield. I don't know, you know, they, they have a little bit of melee in there, which sounds a little weird, but if you look at their skills, control, attack, evasion, combo, they're almost all completely maxed out. However, defense is sorely lacking, so they got some serious, you know, uh, skills on their side. I'm, I'm kind of digging the sorcerers, actually. Berserker. Berserkers wield monstrous double axes as huge as the owner's bodies. Berserkers overwhelm enemies with their size and outrageous strength and can annihilate the mere weaklings at once. Although their physique is seemed to be moving slowly, but improved skills with uh, make such problems a small thing. So they're going to be very, very slow on the battlefield, but they're going to be so strong, they might be able to kill enemies in one hit. And if you look at them, they're almost like a cross between... Uh, you know, like, um, 
what was the guy's Sabretooth? Sabretooth was the enemy of Wolverine with like the hair coming out of him. He kind of looks like that a little bit and a barbarian kind of mixed together. They have a weird skill set. Attack is maxed and defense is maxed. They have no control whatsoever. It's the lowest I've seen on any of them so far. Combos, not too bad, not too bad. And evasion, none. So they can take hits like crazy and they can dish out the attacks, but that's pretty much it. That is all they're going to be able to do. Tamer. Tamers can confront enemies at any range with the support of healing. Whoa, okay, so they're gonna... Or healing? The Divine Beast, all right. Tamers can perform ruthless combination attacks or take the enemy down by herself, burying the Divine Force of the Beast. The uh, the heart will turn into fearsome force that sweeps any obstacle. Mm, I don't know. I'm not really digging her combo evasion and attack or her skills. And she has really horrible defense and control. So it may be kind of uh, difficult to use her. We'll have to kind of check some of these out. All right. Performs oriental style martial arts. The blade and horn bow. Musas are specialists of one-on-one -on -one showdowns. That sounds kind of cool. Almost like you're going to be inside of a Samurai Warrior movie. Since they're fast and sharp, attack combos can burst uh, enormous amounts of damage at once. If the attack is properly concentrated on a single target, it will deliver the highest damage ratio to the victim. So they almost sound like a rogue class. Somebody who could just uh, beat down an enemy. They do have a lot of control, so you're actually going to be able to target that one guy within all the masses, I'm guessing. High attack, eh, really kind of pathetic defense horrible evasion and not too bad on the combo so yeah definitely sounds like a pretty interesting class there <laughs> she definitely uh, has a unique look to her i like it all right she performs oriental style martial attacks with blade and horn bow our specialist on one-on-one -on -one showdown since they're fast and sharp attack combo can burst enormous amounts of damage at once it sounds almost exactly the same as the other class um valkyrie Let's see what Valkyrie. Valkyries are armed with sword, shields, and divine magic. Different from those of the warriors, Valkyrie's melee actions are more smooth and have elegance. Furthermore, their divine magics are focused on healing and empowering allies rather than harming foes. That's 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 a, one of the first healing classes we've seen. And I usually tend to kind of go towards healing classes, but we'll have to look at some of the other ones first. An assassin that uses swords, bodily skills, and ninjutsu. The swarm of attacks consisting of swift movements, smoke shells, which is kind of cool, and unique skills such as hiding pulls the enemy into the middle of total chaos. With proper control, this character can flip the battle by discreetly raiding important figures. So, yeah, that almost is more of a rogue than any of the other classes. Ninja, though, Ninja might be... Oh, my God, look at the skills on Ninja. Maxed out on control, maxed out on attack, maxed out on evasion, maxed out on combo, and absolutely no defense whatsoever. So he's going to take hits like crazy. An assassin that uses swords, bodily skills, and ninjutsu. The swarm of attacks consisting of swift movements, smoke shells, almost the exact same... Uh, yeah, exact same <laughs> wording as the last one. Wizard. Oh, my God. I, I was kind of leaning toward Wizard because, you know, I like the class of Wizard, but he has really good attack and not much of anything else. Control is, is very bad. Defense is very bad. Combo is very bad. And evasion is just so-so. So he's just getting one little thing. Wizards are known for their prudence in battle. In return of casting time lag, they perform large-scale magic attacks. Their uh, thorough move will burn, freeze, and shatter their enemies with the power of natural elements such as fire, water, and wind, and finally drive foes into checkmate. Hmm. We're going to get a witch. Seems about the same skill set. Witches are known for their prudence in battle in return of casting time. Uh, okay, so, yeah, some of these are definitely just the same class, but male and female version. Where, like, Warrior didn't get that one into, I think you got down here to Valkyrie almost type thing rangers sorcerer like i think the wizard should be right up here next to the sorcerer i don't, I don't know how they've kind of moved these around but uh, man i really kind of want to go with the wizard just because he looks so cool so i think we're going to try out the wizard we're going to try out a lot of these classes uh warrior at some time as well so let's go into creation oh wow there's a lot of there's a lot of stats on this thing so we're going to probably make an entire video just for creating the character and then once we get into the game it'll be a whole nother video so let's see we can do view so we can zoom out there we go we can zoom out of this guy almost looks like he's wearing a dress a little bit can we can we turn him 
All right, so I can turn him with the mouse, but very, very slowly, not a whole lot. But you can see he does have eyes, which at the very beginning uh, was very, you know, kind of shrouded there. Let's go into customization. Wow, holy crap, guys, we can change everything. Let's go into hair. Oh, yes, please, let's, let's change his hair. Why does it look like he's bald, even though he has, like, rippling strands of hair everywhere? That is a very, very weird look to it. Let's see, mm, you know that one? More of a... A young guy? Oh, yeah, definitely a younger guy there. Mm, no, no, it looks more like a wig. It's kind of, uh, <laughs> I don't know about some of these. I actually like this one. This one looks like the old samurai movies I used to watch. Mm. Oh, no, no. Oh, my God, no. What is that? Did something die in his head? <laughs> that is a horrible. That is worse than a mop. I... I, I don't know what to say on that one, guys. Uh, Shaggy, anybody? Scooby? No. <laughs> we need something better than that one. Oh, he's a little bit of curliness to it. You know, he's, he gets that. No, no, ain't doing it. That one could be cool. I, I'd, I'd probably put that one on a ninja, though, just to kind of get that, that whole look going on. You got that whole messed up here. Um, or we can go bald. We can go with a bald wizard. I don't know. I don't think we're going to go with a bald wizard. I like the first one. I like this one, even though... Was it this one or this one? Uh, I like this one. This one's better. I don't know what the the other one is. It's a weird kind of see-throughness to it. Now let's go to shapes. Oh man, we can actually control the length of his hair. Oh, look at that. He's either uh, scruffy looking or not so scruffy looking. I kind of like the scruffy looking. You know, wizards kind of unkept. They they spend most of their time reading and not so much. This one actually makes it look thicker on the sides there. What's it do to the back? Link number three. Oh, so what it does is it makes it look thicker on the, the sides or down below. But I think he looks thick enough down below and not so much on the sides. So we're going to give him a full set of hair. He may be an old wizard, but he's not uh, he's not going bald yet. Hmm. I actually don't see that one doing anything to it. I'm sure there's a slight change going on there. But I quite can't quite literally tell anything. So if you guys can spot that, let me let me look from behind and see if you guys can spot anything. Now I am kind of going a little bit fast over it, so let's slow it down. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Maybe it's maybe it's all the way in the front. I wish I could turn it a little bit easier. Mm, no. All right, we'll stick it right in the center then, because that's where it was. I can see it waving on like the tips down here in the back so let's get a good view of that here in the back huh oh it is curling that's what the difference is so do we want a lot of curling oh wow holy yeah that what in the world jeez that is cool looking i like how you can you can really, I want it straight. I, I want to go with straight, something kind of simple. And then color. You know, we can give him uh, any color. Wow, there's a lot of different colors. And then shine. He's at 56. Oh, yeah, look at that in the back. You can, no, no, turn your head, dude. I want to see the back. Yeah, you can make it dull or you can make it shiny. I don't know. That, that's way too shiny. Even the tips are glowing. Let's give him, uh, let's give him something unique as far as a hair color goes. Maybe, oh my god green no that is a little bit oh wow okay that that might be a little bit i, I actually don't mind that one that one's a little bit darker blue yeah maybe because he's been imbued with magic and so his uh, his hair color has taken on that look mm, that one's not too bad i guess I want something Oof. <laughs> some of these colors are outrageous oh man just the the the, the fact that you can pick any of them I kind of like the blue or the purplish kind of whitish color. You know, it has that tint in there, but not so much that is overwhelming. Uh, those are the basic. What about hair? In oh, we could change the hair in color so it's white. So you have like offsets. Dude, this dude has been going to the stylist. He's 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 you know getting that fancy hair done. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna make a weird. Yeah, we're gonna go with pink. Get some pink in there. Show him his, his feminine side. There we go. And uh, overall hair. Wow, three different colors. I like that. I like that one, actually. It seems like... Yeah, yeah it's not too bad. Okay, we're going to go with that. 
Let's see. Do, 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 do. If we close this down, do we keep it? We do. And look at that. Just very subtle change to his hair color. Let's see. Customization. What about face? We can change his face up. Man, it's going to be a lot of options we're going to have to go through here, guys. Okay. Ooh. I like it. Wow, look at the graphics on that, guys. Very, very subtle. Ooh. I don't know. He kind of looks a little little tired, a little haggard. He doesn't really like... Oh, yeah. Look over here, guys. What's what's up over there? Just a little butterfly. Butterfly. <laughs> He's actually following my cursor. I like it. Oh, no. That's from, like, Planet of the Apes right there. Oh, no. You just changed my hair color. What? Go back. Huh? What happened? You just changed my entire dude. What happened to my... Oh, no. Is that, like, random? How do I go back to my dude? Oh, all that time gone just because I picked the blonde hair dude? I don't like that. Now it's back to default. You suck, dude. Oh, man. I got to go back there and do my my care. I'm never going to get that hair color back again. Oh, unbelievable. Okay, so we can change the skin color. Oh, we can make him... Per oh, he can be uh, way too out in the sun. Very tanned. Very pinkish. Or something like right in the middle. Ooh, that, that one wasn't too bad. I mean, you know, he's he's been out there a little bit too long. That one, he hasn't gotten any sun. Let's see... That one's pretty good. A little bit, a little bit of sun. I want the guy not to be a bookworm. Oh man, no. Really? Is that is that? Can I go a little bit lighter? I guess that's okay. We're gonna go with that one. How about facial hair? Hmm. We give him a goatee. Default facial. It's actually not changing it because he already has facial hair. On top, holy crap, you could do a double layer of facial hair. So we got the beard. Let's see what he has here. If we go back to the default, can we get, yeah, we get rid of everything? Beard and mustache. Let's get rid of that. Sideburns, none. Now, if we go over here, you guys can see the subtle changes of having that, that five o'clock shadow, which is actually really, really hard to see. So if we zoom in a little bit, hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know about that one, especially with the beard. I do like the long beard, though. It makes him look like Gandalf. Huh. Little patch, soul patch. That one's not too bad. I like that one. <laughs> I could sit here all day long and come up with a character, and then you can control the length of it and the curl status. What about face shape? Face shape. Oh, wow, we can pull the... I'm not even going to go through all that. That's crazy. We can put makeup on this dude? We can put makeup on this dude. Uh, it's not showing up though. Why can't we see the uh, the makeup on his eyeballs? Oh, do we have to give him some some stats down here before we can see it? Oh, it's very subtle. Look at that. Watch it, guys. It will change. There it is. What if we go all? Oh, wow. Oh, you know what? We should make some guy look like Kiss. We could get that whole. Oh, look at it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of liking the fact that you can do this. Um, I, I don't know if we should keep it, but I, I like it. Oh, yeah. Let's go with that. I, okay. <laughs> we could change the color, too. Oh, I'm having way too much fun just messing with the... There we go, right? Because, you know, who doesn't want that right there? That That's beautiful. Um, <laughs> this guy, we're going to have to change it after the video. But I kind of just want to go through and show you all the stuff you can do. Uh, pupils? Oh, we can change his eye color. And the, uh, let's go into his eyes. There you go. You can see. Wow. Like, nobody's going to be able to see that. And they put it in there anyways just because they knew you were going to be able to see it. And you were going to be able to pick that out. Holy crap. You can make them look like snake eyes or dilated. I like the stars. Kind of like the triangle thing in there. Maybe, uh, I don't know, area? We could make it really big or super small. I like the bigger one. And then you could change the color of it. Mm, let's do something. Yeah, I like that. Like dark blue. What about eyeline? Uh, we can give him eyeliner. I think he already has enough on him. But let's give him something that will show up like green. And then we'll give him some good eyeliner. No, that's not showing up at all. What about brown? Can we see it in there? It's too much. It's too much already on him. 
All right, let's go with tattoos. Ooh, yes, tattoos. Oh, yeah, he could be crying. Could have some kind of weird mystical thing coming across his face. Oh, look at that. Lightning. Oh, it's like barbed wire, but it's, it's like, lit up from the inside. Just somebody, uh... Yeah. Ooh. What is that? Is that, like, a cat? It's almost like a Karen. Dude is looking cool. Skeleton? Ooh. Yeah, he could be, like, an evil wizard. Righteous one? Glowing face one? Eh. Wow. I like that. that. That's cool. And then, of course, you can change the color. What if we go with something like that? It actually kind of matches his hair color, too. Or his eye color. Just kind of pops it in there. Uh, white was really good, but maybe... let's. Oh, kind of like an orc? That's that's not too bad. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go with... Let's go with white. I kind of like this. Like a white walker. Wrinkles. How are we going to do wrinkles? Brow? Uh, yeah, you can kind of see it. The white is uh, obscuring it just a tiny bit, but if you look at his forehead, you will see the wrinkles grow or get smoother. We're going to give him give him a decent number of wrinkles. How about eyes? Ooh, he looks very haggard there. I don't know if we want to do that. And we give him a frown or a smile. I don't really notice it too much. Like, his lips get a little bit more kind of uh, tight when we go this way, but not so much that it's, it's a big difference, at least not with this... Uh, all this makeup on. All right, expressions, uh, standby expression. The selected expression will be shown in the in-game standby motion, so please take your time to decide. Are you sure you want to choose this? Uh, I, I don't know because I can't see it. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he is happy. How about... Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm angry. Uh, I got I got to go to the bathroom, guys. No, that's, that's not a good face. Looks like he's... Biting his lip? He, he wants to bite his lip a little bit. What is that? Is he crying? Is he crying? I don't, no, no, no. I don't like any of those. How about wait? Oh, we can make him bigger. We'll have to zoom out so we can see what's going on here. How about wait? Can't really see it with the wizard on. Yeah, because he has a robe, so he's blocking all that. All right. So, um, let's go back to customization what about body oh that that's not a good look dude no no don't don't ever show me that again um <laughs> we could change everything holy crap uh, what are we gonna do to this main control what what is he an alien he is now we're gonna make him elongated let's make him a little bit thicker like you know um what is that doing? Do I, do I want to ask? It's puffing out his chest a little bit. Okay, so we're going to puff out his chest just a tiny bit. And we're going to go into his other parts. And let's let's see how tall we can make him. <laughs> it's so horrible. Okay, so I think we need to puff this out just a tiny bit. Wow, that doesn't really do jack on that one. Uh, no, nope, puff it out just a little bit more. And with the stomach, maybe we'll tighten it in. No, he's just he's just skinny all around. Yeah, there we go. He is a tall dude. To match these legs that seem to be overly tall in uh, oh so many ways. Let's see, how about arms? So skinny on the arms, dude. I don't, I don't know what to say on those. They are by far the... Uh, oh, that's way too, too elongated. <laughs> Let's go to some muscles. We need to put some muscles on this guy. Ooh, ooh, no, ooh. What is what is that? That is not good. That is not good. Ooh. Let's. Oh, and his arms. Okay, so his arms definitely need some de de definition, but not overly so. Otherwise, he starts looking like a, a I don't know, like a weird science museum piece. And then there are his legs. And uh, we'll go with something okay, I guess. Uh, tattoos. What kind of tattoos are we going to give this guy? We can give him something over here on his arm. He needs to eat something. This dude is going to he's gonna die here pretty soon. I like I like that one. kind of matches the face. We might come back to that one. Can change the colors of all of these. Uh, where does that one go? I don't even see it. Oh, it's there on the back. Huh, let me change the color. You guys can see it a little bit better. That's not bad. 
Let's go with white. Oh, white is the reason you can't see it in the first place. There you go. How about that? That's over there on his leg. Too bad you can only have one of these. And you can't have, you know, three or four or five of them. Not, not digging the color in the exact spot that that is coming from. It, it seems like maybe that's why his face is white uh, with painted on makeup is because something very, very bad happened down there. And he's no longer the man he was before. Oh, that one's even worse. Not, nah, no, no, please not, not either one of those. White, mm, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. We're going to go with that. And we're going to leave the rest of this stuff the same. Edit pose, control method, individual control, detail control. Mm, no, I, I don't know what any of this does. I don't really want to mess with it. We'll leave that there. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <gasps> All right, let's do another one. Hmm. Yeah. All right, let's stick with deep. That's way too deep for this guy. No, maybe a little bit less. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that. Maybe just a tad bit less than that. Yeah, like default. That was pretty much default right down the middle on that one. Got his uh, his skills things done. Okay, so horoscope. I have no idea. Shield, giant. What is that? Dreamer, ambitious, swift, overseer. Shield, rational, disciplined, and methodical. That actually seems perfect for a wizard. However, this wizard is scarred and uh, very demonic looking. So he's not going to be any of those things. Let's see. Um... Uh, patient, gentle, and talented. Nope, not gonna be it. Wealth and fame, noble, dedicated, sensitive, and sociable. Nope, not gonna happen. Simple, genuine, knowledgeable, genius, or idiot. I like how it's right there for both of them. He could be a genius or an idiot. Uh, honorable, faithful, obtuse, and dedicated, and trusted. Uh, takes action, born to wealth, precious, and selfish. Hmm, careful, eccentric, secretive, and short-lived. Goblin, linguist, strong beliefs, intellectual, materialistic, and wise. And that's getting a little closer to what we're kind of going for. Focus, thirst for knowledge, relaxed, and determined. Focus, thirst for knowledge, and determined would be very, very good. Relaxed, I don't know if this guy's going to be very relaxed after what he's gone through. Brave, conservative, righteous, uh, collaborative, and hot-blooded. Hmm. Enjoys arts, optimistic, free, and wanderer. Enjoys arts. Art. Say optimistic though, you know, like they're all good. Where's where's the dark side to these guys? Strong beliefs, materialistic, and wise. I guess we'll go with this one. There's there's nothing there saying, you know, he's happy go lucky, but there's nothing there saying he's not uh, gonna be good either. So let's go with goblin. Weather. What kind of weather? What is that all about? Okay, so we can choose our background screen. I do like his robe. His robe really pops in some of these lights. I don't know what any of this stuff does. Kind of like this one just because it pops that robe so much. So we're going to stick onto that one. Let's see. Position. Position one. Whew. All right. So very standard position. Uh, <laughs> I like that one. Kind of hides his face a little bit, and when somebody sees it, the first reaction is to go throw up. Um, yeah, not not big on the smiling. Yeah, not so much on that one either. What about you gonna do? Oh uh, yeah, a little little bit too happy, a little bit too happy for his look. <laughs> with that face, with that face, I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> oh man, I kind of like that one. Hmm. Yeah, even with him being like a very. <laughs> oh, okay, not that one. No, no, I don't want him to be sad. I want him to be uh, maybe angry or or uh, solemn or you know very like I've lived a hard life. Uh, no, I think that's a little bit too overboard. <laughs> nope, not that one. Try something else. Holy crap, how many are there in here? Jeez. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not digging those. 
what are you doing there? I don't even know when this stuff is going to come into effect, like how often, and I'm sitting here taking all this time to, to do it anyways. But yeah, let's let's go through each and every one of these. Uh, what does this one do? Yeah, he bites his lip a little bit, and then he's... No. <laughs> no, no, I haven't found one that actually tickles me as much as that, that the other one did. He's yawning on that one. He's kind of scared on that one. Surrendering on that one. He's just kind of getting his muscles going. Yawning. Ooh, he even has a, a dagger that he can bring out. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to go back with... <laughs> it looks so evil. That is the one right there, guys. Okay, let's zoom out. Oh, wow. Okay, so we are going to give ourselves a name. Let's go with the Miro. That's what we always use. And let's say creation complete, class selection, character selection, uh, naming policy. So creation complete. I think that's that's all we need to do. We can take a screenshot. So let's uh, let's take a screenshot real quick. I'll upload that to my Twitter page, and you guys can see those. Toggle UI... Oh, okay, so we can actually see what's going on. All right, character create. Sure you want to name your character Demiro. Name is already in use. Really? There's not that many people in the game yet, and somebody's already picked Demiro. So let's go with Demiru. Are you sure you want to use that name? Yes, we got it. We got... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That looks... <laughs> what? Holy crap, guys. That is uh, pretty rough on the face right there because he does not have the full decked out garb just yet we're gonna be starting as a popper and he looks like the insane clown posse is all i gotta say on that one but guys uh, we're gonna go ahead and in the very first episode here uh, character creation has been the entire episode on that one and not too bad actually i like the massive 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 number of options you can create on here so that your character is completely and totally unique in every single way i doubt i will ever see another wizard running around looking like this however i could be wrong because now all you guys have seen it and maybe one of you guys out there will like it and do the exact same thing but uh, i would highly suggest you guys take some time spend a good 30 40 50 minutes in there and create that character because in games like this you're going to be stuck with that character for a long long time they may at some point give you abilities to go back and change some of those options but most games do not do that and those ones that do usually charge a little bit extra for it because it is more work on their end as always guys thanks again for watching i'm ac gamer and this has been been an episode of black desert online an mmo game that is uh, looking really really good and high in graphics remember that guys about 30 to 40 gigabytes just to download it so remember you're going to need that bandwidth and a little bit of time to get it downloaded as well and i will definitely catch you all next time hey guys and welcome to the disembodied voice of ac gamer we are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting of course you're more than welcome to check them out i would love to hear your comments again if you do enjoy these videos be sure to hit that like button subscribe it's definitely the indicator that i use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.